A long molecule carrying all the necessary information you need to develop or reproduce. Found in each and every cell of your body. Has been passed on to you from your parents and you're gonna pass this to your kids as well. The human hereditary material. Yes, you got it right. I'm talking about DNA. Just incredibly important molecule of your body. Well, if you remember from a video on biomolecules, biomolecules include carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. And here, DNA falls under nucleic acids. Now, you know that all the biomolecules are made up of building blocks called monomers, like, like monosaccharides build carbohydrates or carbs, Glycerol and fatty acids make lipids, and that of proteins are amino acids. And what about the fourth one? What are the building blocks of our DNA? So here jumps in the topic of the day, nucleotides. Yes, nucleotides are the building blocks of nucleic acids. Now, our DNA is converted into RNA through the process of transcription. And RNA converts to protein through translation. So, nucleotides are essentials for all cells. Without them, neither deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA, nor the ribonucleic acid or RNA can be produced. And therefore, proteins cannot be synthesized, nor can cell proliferate. So now, nucleotides are composed of three main components. A nitrogenous base, like as you can see here, a pentose sugar and two to three phosphate groups. So now first we'll talk about nitrogenous base. So nitrogenous base, name giving you a hint that nitrogen is a must. Now they belong to two different families of compounds. The purines and the pyrimidines. Purines are double ring structures whereas pyrimidines are single ring structures. A point worth noticing, as this is going to help you remember their structures. Well, I used to remember this in my school time by the fact that the one with the longer name, this one, has a smaller structure. And the one with the shorter name has a bigger structure. Now there are five common nitrogen species, adenine, guanine, cytosine, thiamine, and uracil. These are often denoted with their initials like adenine with A, guanine with G, cytosine with C, thiamine with T, and uracil with U. Now, adenine and guanine, as you can see here with the double rings, are purines. Now, cytosine, thiamine, and uracil are pyrimidines. Quite a long name, but small structures, single ring bases. So that was a brief introduction about nucleotides and their structures. But to get into the details of their chemical structures and learn them like never before, do watch our next section on chemical structures.